Godfather 2, we're in Cuba, double A gamer for life. Okay, so we make our way to Cuba and they want us to uh, eventually uh, assassinate Castro. But before we can do that, uh, there's several of these uh, dissident leaders. They want you need us a hand to kill the. As a matter of fact, I do. It seem like we're on Feel like side. smashing the hell out of a place? Yes. But there's always the time to do some favors to unlock some uh, made men. Okay, once we get through this uh, assassination thing with Castro in the next video, uh, it's going to unlock the other family here in Cuba. And then uh, we're basically back to New York to deal with this thing with Michael and the, the trial. But once that's done, that's it. There's no more story related missions. Uh, basically, we're tasked to take out everybody, every business. Is it safe to talk here? Cubans know how to respect your privacy. It's one of the few things we can learn from them. Come on, let's get down to business. All right, then. Business. So, have you done your part yet? Yes. We spread the word through all our channels. Everyone's talking. If there's an important American in the country, he supports the revolution. The government thinks you want to expatriate. They're eating it up. Okay, so what next? I'm going to give you information on a number of dissidents in the city. You need to take them out, but do it carefully. It needs to draw the government's attention, but it has to be the right kind of attention. Understand? Don't worry about me. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Good. It shouldn't be long before someone takes notice. Let them make the first move, though. Make them feel like they're in charge. And Dominic, don't forget your cover. Remember, you support this regime. It's the only way to get close. Good luck. Okay, uh, before heading to Cuba, it would be a really good idea, even like before you start these, if you don't have any police bribes built up, go back to New York and uh, visit the police chief. Uh, I mean, you could definitely go to Miami if you've already done the corrupt officials in Miami, but whichever official has the, the police bribes built up that you can buy from them, go back there and do it. Uh, you want at least have 10 or so uh every time you try to get to one of these dissident dudes there's regular police around it's kind of tough to tell you know who are police and who are military whatever there's just a bunch of guys all around and on top of that uh, mangano's men are everywhere as well so you got something on your mind it would like definitely you be a good help. idea to have as many of the police bribes built up as possible uh, someone who needs tenderizing if you're interested, I can make it worth it. Number seven of this playlist, I yeah. kind of get into, you know, how I earn the money that I got. Um, the money that I make from my paydays is good, but I already had plenty of money to start the game with. It wasn't a whole lot of fun, and you got to let your Xbox do some work here. But nevertheless, uh, like I was mentioning, you know, having money makes your life a lot easier. Uh, you can buy the favors that you need uh, the rapid recovery rebuild your businesses and the police bribe being your main three uh, the other ones as far as like putting a sting on people you know a, a rival family it just uh, it's not really something that I ever do and the thing is is that you can't really you know put a sting on a certain family member it's just whoever they decide to pick what the fuck? It'd be We're different the if there was, uh, let's say you wanted this particular family member put a, you know, a sting on so he's out of commission for a while. That'd be different, but it just picks any random family member, so you can't really do that. I love when the guy's sitting down, you can't grab him. So he's like, keep sitting there, I'll just punch you or something. Oh yeah, consigliere. Unfortunately, uh, can't really do nothing with him until we get to the compound, so... Oh well. 
Keep moving on. No lo creo. Let me be. Cuba, it's a decent sized map, but not big enough to where you actually need to drive, and I don't know, I never drive in Cuba, it's just a pain in the butt, they got roadblocks everywhere, and um, it just seems easier to kind of just huff it than it does to jack a car and try to get through the, the roadblocks and all that, so... Yeah, it looks like we got a little stash spot there so you can get I'm some shot. ammo and ram or whatever. But uh, back up here it's like, I don't know, look at all these Like, all right, time to go with manual aim here. I didn't bother to pull that trigger at all. A lot of times I'd like to, you know, pull the left trigger. It just makes the, your hard sight a little smaller and kind of zooms in just a little bit. But the problem is when you hit your left trigger, it auto locks. So it's like you can't really use it that way as far as a hard sight um, you know sometimes you can but a lot of times just kind of locks in and uh, that you know it's got its place but like right there you know I just wanted to have you know free sight so I can just kind of mow through these guys but the auto lock would have just kind of you know locked on a certain person it just wouldn't have worked there Anyway, it takes care of the first set of dissidents, He's and coming. now we're going to make our way. Why don't you go see where you got to go, okay? Christ, Dominic. You're like a one-man arm. I need cover. I can get it. Please, fight. I'm here. See, I think that's the home of a uh, Magano main man or something. That's why there's so many soldiers around. They call the way. Drop it. Come back. Move this way. I'm shot. And call another police bribe. When I was here starting this, I was like, eh, I got 10. I'm like, I think I may should have went back to New York and got some more police bribes, but I think I'm able to uh, have enough to get through this, so. Godfather 1, it's like any cop that was walking around, you can get a police bribe. But uh, this is not the case Where here. You, uh, you will see some officials that will have a dollar sign over their head, and, and then you know that person can be bribed. And they're nice because it fills your meter all the way up. Uh, the police bribes in your back favor will only give you a quarter. But, eh, whatever. Ah, compadres, excuse me. I see 
let me handle him. My way. So what's the plan? There's a bomb! Look out! Couple of Molotov cocktails, takes care of him. They then... shot me! Okay, so pretty soon I'm going to be adding another capo to my list here. Uh, now that I'm in Cuba, I'll probably find another expert and That's get the family idea. tree going. Once I have another capo, capo uh, that gives me three made men that I can Try send to a business out. as it, uh, it happens. Nobody fucks with me! I love that. Next There's week. one over there! Still there? I don't know who they're shooting at. They're going down! Llama la policia! Okay, this guy right here, he's a bruiser. Oh, and. I think at some point I was just like, eh, I need another guy, and I didn't really care. I got uh, enough medics in my crew. I just wanted an expert, uh, somebody I could uh, upgrade, give him a level 3 weapon. So I think just because I was here, I went ahead and made him one of my family members, made him a made man. Uh, that's all part of the recruits and made men. Add on or uh, video on the collectibles. Sure about uh, this if new you're guy having down. any trouble trying to find made men level uh, two or three guys, just look at that video. Uh, probably the most helpful video in Godfather 2, knowing where all the level two and three guys are. But uh, in Cuba, pretty much every recruit out here is uh, level three. And like I was mentioning, when you're picking your family. Um, your two main dudes, uh, obviously I got this Jimmy Leary that was part of an add-on, and he's my main guy. Uh, he's the one I could, you know, he's got the four abilities, an arson, uh, safe cracker, engineer, and medic. So very important stuff right off the bat. But uh, when I made him capo, I made him a bruiser. But then my second, my other main dude, uh, was a demolition dude, and I believe he was an advanced guy. So, between my family tree, I have uh, their equal uh, level twos and level threes. And just check out the weapons. Uh, the level three assault rifle is very easy to get to. Uh, it's in a business, and you don't have to take it over to get to the. You can just fight your way in a little bit to get to that level three assault rifle. And if you can get to that and then, uh, you know, give all your level three guys that, you know, it makes a big difference. Uh, the, the better firepower your, your guys got, the better they can withstand in a fight. So just stands with reason. But 
right now, like all my crew, they'll either have the level 2 magnums, the uh, level 2 uh, sniper rifle. I know. think the uh, working out, don't you? I have the level 3 shotguns, but I'd rather them have uh, heavy hitting uh, range weapons, uh, the magnum or the sniper rifle. Uh, the second level machine gun, I believe, is at Tony Russo's uh, compound. Not really sure, but it's not available at this particular time. But I can get to the level three assault rifle easy enough. So, but like I was mentioning, uh, you know, getting your crew members kind of jacked up makes a big difference. Uh, so having the money on hand to upgrade them, uh, their survival, their recovery, their the weapon accuracy and all that it makes a big difference. So um, as soon as the level three assault rifle came up and uh, you know, I went right into the family tree and gave all my level three dudes that, you know, that assault rifle. So it does make a difference uh, getting your guys jacked up. Okay, so once I get the Please the dissonance done, the, the next job. mission we're going to deal with Castro. It's uh, mission related, but after that, you kind of have to make a beeline to get out of Cuba. What the fuck? And we're when you go back to New York, now? this deal with Michael and his trial, and then Frank Tangeli's uh, brother and all that. It's kind of like the last of the missions until we get the to the end of the game. Anyway. Uh, no Michael. See. What do you want from me, puta? Drop it. Kind of agrees that we need to uh, basically take out every family, every business, right and all that. And, you know, we would have uh, done that regardless anyway. Although the option to, to deal with uh, Henry Mitchell comes up. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, at what point, uh, dealing with, uh, Hyman Roth, what it came up, but, uh, you know, we're going to pretty much take over all the businesses and the compounds and all that. So we definitely would have done that regardless. So. But once we get through this deal with Michael's trial and Frank's brother and all that, and they pretty much task us to go off and take over everything, uh, the businesses that are related to the uh, ammo belt is what I'm going to be going after first. The larger ammo belt giving you more than uh, the incendiary rounds, which kind of boost your firepower. That's like next on my hit list. Normally, like no. after Mike's trial, I, I would go deploy. after the armored vehicles. I mean, it's all good, but uh, it's not as helpful as I thought it would be. Uh, having the extra ammunition uh, just goes without saying that, you know, that's going to be a big help to you. The guys He's that are green or like Castro military, I don't quite you know, get it. Uh, pretty much anybody that shoots at me is somebody that I'm going to shoot back at, so that's kind of the way I work at it.
Okay, so once we get this last guy, gonna make it back to the safe house, and then uh, we're gonna get invited to the the palace where Castro is. Alright, so send some main men out there to defend the business. The only time any of my main men ever become hospitalized is because they've blown up the building. Uh, but that's why we have the rapid recoveries in our back pocket favors. Uh, once the, the little message comes up saying they've been hospitalized, wait for you know all three to be done. And then go ahead and just hit the rapid recovery, and then all three will be uh, back in action again. Put that away. That's what you get for bringing fist to a gunfight. Just hit him with the old pumble uh, execution. All right, so uh, we're going to make our way back to our safe house and then uh, we're going to get contacted to go to the palace or wherever this deal is where we're going to. Uh, be a guest and we're gonna try to assassinate Castro and then the uh, the last family the, the rival family will pop up and all the other business here in Cuba will be under their Almeidas I think they're called and uh, then it's back to New York and then eventually we will be taking over all these places If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.